I'm so excited for this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've just had an exciting delivery. I ordered some new iHot Revolution bits. They have collabed with Looney Tunes, which I was straight away on that. Huge fan of Bugs Bunny back in the day and yeah, I just think this collection they brought out is super cute. I haven't brought everything, but I've brought the main bits like the palettes, the highlighter palettes and the lip oil. They did have like brush sets, they had a sponge set and they had a makeup bag which was really cute, but I could only really have the funds to afford these. Yeah, I just want to test it out for you guys and see if it's worth the haul, if it was worth the purchases. And with this series, I am going to test each palette individually. So today I'll test one of the palettes and I'll test the highlight and the lip oil and for the other days I'll test the other remaining palettes. But yeah, my favourite characters were definitely Bugs Bunny and Lola. So yeah, today I'll show you every single palette, what they look like inside and then I'm going to test one of the palettes out to see if that palette performs well or not. But yeah, I'm excited, as you can tell. Before we get into it, make sure you hit subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. All these just look so cute. Okay, let's start off with Bugs Bunny. So when I saw Bugs Bunny, it looked like it had a bit of green in. So all the palettes, all the individual palettes are eight pounds. I forgot to mention, they also had a big palette, like a big main palette, which was 20 pounds. I didn't get that. I just wanted to see what the quality was gonna be like first. And I like the fact they've got the little swatch picture there so you know what colors you're gonna get inside and i love the art on these too this is what bugs bunny looks like this looks like such a fun playful color scheme we've got a pop of green in there we've got a teal greeny blue here pop of orange khaki shade a white i think this is going to be a really nice palette to play with they also have the shade names to correlate back to the character and then we have tasmania this is what the arse looks like for Taz, and it's in this purple packaging. The bit in the middle is blue, I like that. So we're going for some cool tones for this one. This is Taz, really like this. I think it's very different and I think it does match up to the character. We've got a title here that says, I can't say that. I'm not even gonna try to say that. I think it's something what Taz says. Did Bugs Bunny have one? Yeah, of course, Bugs Bunny's got, hey, what's up, Dark? the carrot honestly when i was younger i used to mimic bugs bunny i used to get a carrot from the fridge and just pretend like i was bugs bunny okay and now we've got tweety which is gonna be so cute i hope i'm saying these characters right is it tweety please tell me it is. it's gonna be embarrassing if it's not T <laughs> tweety i've got a feeling i'm gonna like this one and i think the yellow looks very cute next to the pink there and then for this one it it says, I taught a potty pat. <laughs> I love that, that's so cute. Honestly, this collection is the cutest thing ever. It's such a good idea. And that is what that looks like, very cute. This video is gonna be staying very cute. And then we got Sylvester. I've got a feeling I'm gonna go into this one today. I want to play with some warm tones. Orange and peach. And this is Sylvester, this looks so nice. Mm, warm, summery, even autumn-y. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this one today. And then we have got the Lola highlight. We've got pink and purple together there. I love Lola, like she is just my cup of tea. And this is what the highlighter looks like for Lola. So we've got some icy tones, we've got warm tones at the bottom. I feel like I'm gonna focus more on the top row. I like the inclusivity they've got there. And then of course, we've got the lip oil I picked up. They do have other lip oils with the characters, but of course I had to go with Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny's my man, fresh and cute. <laughs> Start with the eyeshadow first. Sylvester, let's go with this. I have no idea what kind of look this is gonna come out with. I just thought Sylvester would be good because I'm wearing a red top and I feel like these shades might go well with the top I'm wearing, so. I'm gonna prep my eyes first. I'm gonna use the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I'm happy they've got mirrors in these palettes too. Because usually with their clad palettes, they miss out the mirror. So I feel like I'm gonna start off with the shade. Oh, I don't even know. Sylvester. Should we start off with this shade? I was gonna start off with darker shade, but let's let's go with Sylvester first, see what we're working with. And I'm just gonna put, oh, pigment straight away. So I'm just gonna put this just on the outer corner for now. I'm gonna do two eyes today. 
So the colour is matching where it's shown in the pan, which is always a good start. It matches my top quite well too. I'm going to blend this out with the shade Fume. So Fume, there's not that much fallout either. So I'm just going to put this slightly above Sylvester shade. And I feel like these two will just marry into each other because they're quite similar tones. Yeah, happy with that. And then I'm going to go above Fume, going into Pride. So with the shade, I'm just going to go onto the brow bone more. And that softens the Fume shade really nicely. I feel like we could darken this out. But what I like about this palette, you can wear it two ways, I'm guessing. You could wear it a bright way or you could wear it a smoky way with these shades here. So I'm going to go, let's just mix the both, shall we? <laughs> I'm just going to mix the two together. Just gonna add some depth into this look. So these browns are quite cool toned, they look like. This just automatically makes it more smoky. I'm gonna match everything on the lower lash line with the shades I've just used very quickly. Okay, let's try out these shimmers. So I like the look of Puddy Tat so cute and that is gonna look really nice on there so i might wet my brush just to get its full potential oh let's try and without wetting the brush first because that has dipped in there really nice so i'm just gonna go on top of the sylvester shade oh i don't think i need to wet it because that shimmer is providing i like it a lot <laughs> Wow, that is really nice. Happy with that. I feel like they could have done with a lighter shade. Oh, actually, no. I didn't think that was gonna be light. They look like different tones. Do they? Games, actually, no, maybe it's just me. I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna use my pinky and just put it in the inner corner just to fill that gap. I'm gonna go to the Lola palette, see if we can grab one of the shades from here. So maybe Divine Diva. That could work. That is nice, like that. I'm gonna use a bit of Sassy, put that in there as well. I know these two are quite dark, but these would make really nice eyeshadow toppers too. I'm gonna to use my XX eyeliner. I always like to go in the waterline with just a black eyeliner. And we're back. So base is now on. I'm gonna try the highlighter now. I'll go through what I've used on my face towards the end of the video, but let's go with Lola's highlighter. I'm thinking we're going to Sassy, this one here, but I do like the look of Sweetie Pie. So that is a what sweet pack that looks so nice and sassy. Shall we do one side and then sweet pie the other side? And then we have the bottom shades there. So let's try sweet pie on one side. I feel like this one might be a bit too dark for me. Yes, it is. So Probably not that, maybe as a blusher topper. So let's try Sassy. I feel like Sassy would be the winner for this one. Oh yeah, wow, that's blinding. My nose is a bit orange, I did put a bit of blush on there. But yeah, Sassy for the win. I feel like this side Sweetie Pie is a bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna go over the Sassy. Um, yeah, these are good highlighters. I like it, They're very glowy. Not glittery whatsoever, so that's always good. 
like. So let's get on this lip oil. I don't know what to expect from this lip oil. Is there anything special what it says on the website? Very nostalgic looking, very 90s. So I've got the Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is just a clear finish with a blueberry scent. I did not expect that, I thought it was gonna be apple. All the other characters are clear finishes, but they all have different scents. So Tweety has a strawberry scent, Tasmania has a grape scent, Sylvester has a mango scent. The rollerball lip oils are seriously nourishing on the dry lips, infused with unique fruity scents that can be used on their own or layered over your favorite lipstick. Let's just see what it looks like without pouring anything on my lips. It is a rollerball. Oh wow, you can definitely smell that. I actually brought a new lipstick I could try out as well uh, when I brought all this. So I'll try that. Oh, this feels good. I love lip oils. I feel like I prefer lip oils over lip balms. I just prefer the texture. That creates such a nice shine. Yeah, I can definitely smell it. It smells really nice. It's not too overpowering though. I'm just gonna quickly wipe this off. I'm gonna test out a lipstick that I brought from the sales section on Revolution. This is the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Very on theme, aren't I? <laughs> I just thought this was four pounds on sale. So I thought I might as well try it out. And this is in the shade Donut Head Homer. I haven't brought anything from this collection. This is like my first thing I brought from the Simpsons collection. My lips feel really soft. Okay, so I got these. I'm not gonna use the lip gloss though, but just reference. I brought these. I don't know if this is gonna go with the lip. I feel like this is gonna be too cool toned for this look. Ooh, that smells nice. Yeah, I feel like this, I want a warmer. Maybe I could try that out in a different video. I'm gonna put this lipstick on. This is the Milani Fetish lipstick in the shade Tease. I feel like this is cool tone. I don't have any warm lipsticks. It'll just have to do. I feel like I need to get some new lipsticks because I literally don't have any like orange tone lipsticks, which I wish I did now. So let's put on this lip oil. I'm hoping this doesn't react to the lipstick underneath with it being an oil. I feel like it hasn't. But yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> ruined it. It's given a nice shine to the lips. I feel like I would prefer to use this just as a lip oil on its own, not on top of lipsticks. Um, just because I've got loads of lip glosses for that. But yeah, it's, it's doing what it's saying. It's doing, it's adding shine. But I just want to use it purposely just for a lip oil. So that's my thoughts on that. So guys, here is the completed eye look using the Sylvester palette. These tones are honestly always my cup of tea. I never get bored of these tones, especially in the summer. You could even wear this in the autumn just using the two browns and then the darker shimmer. But yeah, I use most of the shades in here and they all work fine. I don't have anything bad. The only thing I'd say, I wish it was more of a lighter tone for the highlight, for the inner corner highlight, I had to go in the Lola palette, but I didn't mind that. It's just, if you just wanna get this palette on its own and you want that bright inner corner highlight, you probably need to dip into something else. But everything else worked absolutely fine. Yeah, really like this. Eight pound, it's a good collab. Up there in the collabs. I'd say the quality of these are so much better than the Disney ones. Not that I hated the Disney ones, but if we're talking about actual quality of the shadows, I prefer the Looney Tunes. And then we got Lola's highlight. So I feel like I'm only gonna use this shade out of the highlighter. I really do like it. Um, kind of wish they had individual highlighters maybe on their own, I don't know. I'd use these for shadow toppers, but I don't really do that a lot. I only do it if it's there and there. I kind of like to use it out of an actual eyeshadow palette. The sassy shade is beautiful as a highlight. I would happily use this palette for that shade. Finally, for the lip oil. Bugs Bunny's lip oil. I really like this. I am gonna say it again, I will prefer to use this on its own, not on top of a lipstick. I kind of don't want it ruined, but it's already ruined. It smells incredible a great lip care addition to your night care routine or you just pop it in your handbag and put it on whenever you feel a bit dry i don't think you need all of them but if you're a collector <laughs> i'd probably get 
all of them because they're really super cute. I'm just gonna hold on to Bugs Bunny though. I don't think I need another one. And then if I eventually use all this, I'll get another one. If you're wondering what else is on my face today, I'm using the iHot Revolution Tasty Watermelon Primer. I then went into my favorite foundation at the minute. This is the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation in the shade Natural Sand. And then for liquid bronzer, I use the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blush Bronzer in the shade Shady Business. I forgot to mention concealer. I use the L'Oreal Inflammable more than conceal it shade cashmere and then for liquid blush i went in the i heart revolution tasty watermelon blush set that in place with the may beauty matte blush and then as for my brows i've just got two products on today i've got the nyx microbrow pencil shade taupe to set that in place i use the benefit 24 hour brow setter and then for my lashes i've got the i heart revolution tasty coconut conditioning mascara and then I just added these really faint lashes. These are the Tati Lashes Shape. Oh, it doesn't have a number. It just says a glam accent lash. They're just a half lash. And yeah, that is all on my face today. Thanks again for watching my video. If you found this review helpful, then make sure you hit the like button. And don't forget if you want to see more palette reviews on these others, we've got Tweety, Tasmania, and Bugs Bunny. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell on so you don't miss out. But yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think of this collection launch. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bit meh. Now, which one shall I try next? I feel like I want to go with Bugs Bunny. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, night, with time watching us, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!